These are eight jobs with growing demand and the salary more than $100,000. So if you think about your career, look at this video up to the very end because I also going to share with you five jobs with no future. All of these opportunities from different industries. So I'm sure that everyone can find something for themselves, especially high paying opportunities for a better future. We are going to start from the job which has like the lowest salary, but still like more than $100,000. And then we will end up with the highest paying job ever in this list. I'm going to use some numbers and statistics from some resources like Forbes Insider and other publications. The first job has 35% of growing demand and of course the salary more than 100k and let's be more precise and look at the data. So it's like $102,600 per year. This profession is informational security analyst who is responsible for ensuring the safety and security for an organization, sensitive information, and computer systems. They monitor networks for security breaches as well as investigate any attacks that may happen. So what is required in terms of education to get this job? So bachelor degree in cybersecurity or any related field might be enough for this opportunity. Guys, I have to say this. Please subscribe to this channel to receive more useful information. Since I'm a small YouTuber and this is a small new channel, this is the only way to grow YouTube. Please subscribe. The second job is also in tech world, but as I promised, not all the opportunities will be in tech space. So watch closely. And this opportunity is data scientist with a growth of 35% of growing demand. And the median salary is $103,500 dollars per year. As a data scientist, a person needs to extract some insights from lots of data and knowledge from large complex data sets. They leverage data to make intelligent informed decisions to help organizations improve their performance and achieve their goals. While only a bachelor required to enter the field, these professionals may hold master's degrees in data science, sometimes PhD, some gain discipline specific training or like to do it with the science boot camp. By the way, I have a free AI resource library for those who want to acquire new skills to find like some list of free AI tools or prompts for different tasks. So find the link in the description below. Of course, it's free. Grab your access. The third profession has 20% of growing demand and this is non-tech profession. This is medical and health service manager. Guess the salary. Of course, it's more than $100,000, but here it is. More precise data from Forbes statistics. This is $104,000. $830 per year. These people are responsible for planning, directing, and coordinating healthcare providers' business activities. They usually manage entire facility, clinical area, or department, or physician medical practice. Cool? Let's move on. The next opportunity is actuary. Typically work for insurance company and are responsible for evaluating risk. They use math, data and statistics to determine whether their employee should issue a policy to a potential customer. Whether that's an individual or a business, they make evaluations regarding health, life, automobile, homeowners, workers' compensation, insurance, and many other things, as well as the requirement benefits for investments. With a salary, attention, $105,900 per year and growth rate of the demand 21%. So what is required for such a role? A degree and a specific science with a focus on using math and statistics modeling to assess risk. Plus, they need to pass a series of exams in order to be certified to do the job. So pretty complex process, isn't it? But still like pretty high salary. Okay, the next job opportunity has 25% of growing demand and the salary is much higher than the previous one. The salary is $124,000 per year. And guess what? This is software developer. 
Software developers design and develop software applications to meet a variety of user needs. And of course, with the technology which is growing in any industry in this world, of course, it's a growing demand. These professionals may participate in all stages of development process, from research to ideation, to create models, overseeing development teams, developing process, testing and qualifying accuracy of work. After product launches, software developers help maintain its functionality through upgrades, different improvements and bug fixes. Here in Silicon Valley, we have like always growing demand for software developers, especially those who had like particular experience in specific things. Um, and yeah, that's for sure a great opportunity and it will grow in the next 10 years. The next job opportunity is not technical world, but still the salary is even higher than for software developers. And the growth rate of the demand is 38%. Can you imagine? The salary median is $125,900 per year. And this is nurse practitioners. They have responsibilities that vary widely, depends on their state of licensure, but in general, Nurse practitioners provide primary and urgent care services to diverse array of patients. They work in various medical settings, including hospitals, physician offices, and clinics. Okay, let's move on to the next opportunity. It's starting to be even more interesting, right? Because the salary is going up and up and up, and you never could imagine like what would be the next opportunity, tech world or non-tech world. But still, this job has the most potential of growing demand. I mean, like, imagine 78% of growing demand for the next five, seven years. And uh, the salary is also very high. So this is non-tech job. This is physician assistant. These people support physician in exam. These people support physicians in diagnosing and treating patients in variety of healthcare settings, including primary care, family medicine, emergency medicine, and physiatry. The median pay is pretty high. Of course, it's higher than even software developers and all of the previous opportunities which I mentioned in this video. So this is so generous pay. It's like $126,000 per year. And just a quick note, this is median pay. Of course, it will depend on like skills, on the years of experience. And are you ready for the last but not least job in this list in this video with the highest median pay with the growing demand crazy growing demand like uh growing demand 27 percent and median salary for this opportunity 127 thousand dollars 900 and this is yes this is in tech world ai engineers and they use ai and machine learning techniques to develop applications and systems that can help organizations increase efficiency cut costs increase profits and make better business decisions. AI engineering focuses on developing the tools, systems and processes that enable AI to be applied in the real world. Okay, so this is a list of the jobs which you should consider for your future to have like a better future, higher salary and uh, never worry about something that your job is not relevant anymore. But also, as I promised in the beginning of the video, I will share with you five jobs which has no future at all. So you should consider like to change your career to different domain right away if any of jobs which I mentioned, that's your job right now. So let's talk about these jobs which will disappear by 2030 because of AI revolution. The first one is travel agent. So the data and statistics says that there is an argument, there is still demand for travel agents, so why they get rid of them. However, with chatbot platforms and AI, they becoming more refined and the impact of COVID-19 also. And travel companies decide to cut out the human elements sooner than later, because that's like so expensive for them. They would rather to change travel agents, those people who was calling to uh, potential clients, those people who try to create some uh, great trip, like some destinations, 
according to the taste and wishes of the potential clients right so right now it's possible to do just with AI agent with GPT with different capabilities right that's why of course travel business will look closely into that industry and unfortunately people not needed anymore in that space the next one is taxi drivers okay so here's the quick story here in san francisco like i started to use more and more often like driverless uh, someone called them driverless cars uh, here we have cruise and waymo waymo it's made by google and of course like i like more the quality of cars because the car itself is jaguar and also the way how they are um, driving and how they are uh, like following the rules everything's so good experiencing wonderful and uh, the price is same or sometimes it's cheaper than the taxi you call like uber lift that's why i believe this is the future and um, for sure like companies they are not interested at paying more the next one is store cashiers here also a quick story a few years ago i went to some supermarket and i was so impressed that there is an option to pay for your products by yourself and uh, like there is always that machines were without the line so i started to use it and pretty comfortable and that's why this profession also will be not on demand in the future another one is fast food cooks fast food restaurants are now not shy to replace humans by uh, robots you know and this is where also the world is moving towards most of them have already made a change to self-service ter terminals and the last job but not least and i believe so many people in this industry right now so they should consider to acquire new skills and to adapt to the new realities and new world this is administrative legal jobs these roles are already under a threat uh, with legal administrative jobs and paralegal roles so many tools ai tools in these spaces which help you to understand what is going on with the documents read documents very fast and give you a short summary right it showed me where is the pain points or where the problems in these documents might be right unfortunately these people are under the risk but from another side imagine the future I think it's more bright than it is right now just people should to adapt and so many job opportunities will appear as well like we just need to acquire the skills to find out what we really like what we really would like to do in the next five ten years and also be ready for change so if you want to know where to acquire such skills to get your dream job and to have at least 100k per year or more then watch the next video